All right, hey guys, um, we are going to be uh, moving into the second half of Unit 8, um, 8.5 segment length. Uh, so we're going to be moving away from the angle measures and the arc measures and find lengths of segments in uh, circles. So uh, you can add these to your, um, we're not going to do the warm up, we'll skip right through that. Um, you can add these to your Brown theorem sheet uh, and just pause as necessary. Uh, as we go through here, we're going to do three theorems uh, back to back to back, and then we'll do examples of each one. So uh, your first theorem is when you have two chords intersecting in the interior of a circle. And that, so it looks like this. Um, and so what you're going to do here, it's, it's the product of the lengths of one chord is equal to the product of the lengths of the other chord. So in this case, with this example, um, it's going to be EA times EB equal to EC times ED. And that's when you have two chords intersecting in the interior. So it's the parts, the part times the part is equal to the part times the part is your easiest way to kind of remember that one. The secant secant theorem is when you have, I'm going to go ahead and put the picture up here, um, two secant segments. Um, going through a circle and they share the same endpoint outside the circle, then what you're going to do there is you're going to multiply the part on the outside times the whole thing, the whole secant, and um, that's going to equal the part on the outside times the whole secant of the other secant, the whole length of the other secant. So in this case, EA times EB, so the part on the outside, um, the part on the outside here, EA, times the whole length of EB, and then that's going to equal the part on the outside times the whole length of ED. So that's your when you have two secants um, intersecting outside the circle and sharing an endpoint outside the circle. Third, we have um, secant tangent theorem, and what that looks like is when you have a secant and a tangent that just comes to the edge of the circle there. EA is your tangent, ED is your secant. And what you're going to do here is um, you're going to square the tangent. So EA times itself is equal to the part of the secant times the whole thing. So again, EC times ED, the part on the outside times the whole thing, just like the last theorem, but the other, the tangent part is going to be multiplied times itself. So that's it for your theorems. Uh, go back and rewatch or pause as, as needed. Um, okay, and so our first example um, is when you have the two chords. And so it's the product of the two parts. So 3 times 6 is equal to 9 times x. 18 equals 9x, and you solve for x. x is 2. So that's when you have the two chords intersecting inside the circle. Example two is where we have the two secants. So um, here we have the part on the outside is nine um, times the whole length of that secant would be nine plus 11 is 20. And then uh, your other secant would be 10, the part on the outside times 10 plus X, the length of LP, the whole secant. So you would just have to work this equation through um, and solve it for x. x is 8. Example 3 is where you have the tangent and the secant. So again, it's the tangent squared. So the part uh, that's just on the outside is multiplied times itself. So 24 times 24. And then the other part, the, other, the secant, is going to be the part on the outside, 12 times the sum of 12 plus x, so the length of the whole secant. So as you work that one through, um, you solve for x being 36. So that's it for um, the notes. I know it was quick. Go back and watch it again if you need to, but um, that's it.